Assiniboy Downs is proud to present our co-featured event here in race number four. It's the 52nd running of the Osiris for two-year-olds. They're going to go five and a half furlongs for a purse of $25,000. Number one is Heber, owned by Don Schnell and Barry Arneson, trained by Don Schnell with Chavi and Chow. Number two is Falls Session, owned by Marie Newber, trained by Sam Newber with Garfield Gordon. Number three is Zachman, owned by Jerry Antoniak, trained by Eureka Martins with Dane Nelson. Number four, Action Speak Scratched. Number five is Ozark Daredevil, owned by River's Edge Racing Stables, trained by Tim Rycroft with Chris for Husbands. Rounding out the field is number six, English Town, owned by Christina and Oslin Bell, trained by Carl Anderson with Kayla Pizarro. And ladies and gentlemen, with the scratch and number four, Action Speak. At the post. And they're off in the 52nd running of the Osiris. Quickly from the outside, that's Ozark Daredevil. Straight out to the early lead and has command by four lengths. Heber is in second, falling back in third. That's Zachman. And then it's going to be English Town and Fall Session will be early trailer. They went the opening quarter in a very quick 22-4, and four, and Ozark Daredevil has complete command by five. Heber is starting to make up the gap in second. Zachman running very well in third, then a gap of another five back to English Town and Fall Session can see them all. They hit the head of the lane. Chris Husbands looks back with Ozark Daredevil and sees Heber in an all-out drive from in behind. Ozark Daredevil. Heber's trying to make up ground and is absolutely flying. Ozark Daredevil. Heber with one last try. Ozark Daredevil is going to take the Osiris. Heber is second best. English Town with a really good rally for third and fourth went to Zachman. Now entering the winner's enclosure is the official winner of race number four, the 52nd running of the Osiris. That's number five, Ozark Daredevil. Ozark Daredevil is a dark bear, brown gelding, two years old by Portobello Road. Under the mayor, Robbins and Bows by Bold Anthony. Owned by River's Edge Racing Stables, trained by Tim Rycroft, and ridden a victory by Christopher Husbands. Time for the five and a half furlongs was 107. Assiniboy Downs is pleased to have on hand in the winner's enclosure Scott Taylor, sports columnist for mytoba.ca, also the grassroots news and senior scope to make a presentation to the winning connections. Closure, ASD Patakos Rob McLennan has the winning connections of the Osiris. Rob, take it away. Thanks, Kurt. We're down here with the winning connections of the 52nd running of the Osiris Stakes. Chris Husbands, Tim Rycroft, River's Edge Racing in from Alberta for the win. Chris, what do you think? Uh, kind of think of the race going in? You rode this horse last time. He ran a really good second. What was your thoughts coming into the race? Well, yeah, I think I had a really good shot when I heard he was coming back, and I was fortunate to get him back, and he just worked out. Yeah, it ended up being a very nice situation for you. There's no Pecos in the race to chase today. You ended up going pretty quick early. Did you think you had a uh, pretty handy lead going down the backside? Yes, I did. Um, 
kind of bit went faster than I really wanted him, but each time I took a hold on him, he just went more, you know, so I was saying, well, at least I hope you relax for me a bit, and at least try to hold on. You ended up having enough late. Heber kind of came to you a little bit. Did you kind of feel that there was the horse coming on the outside, and did you feel you had a lot kind of underneath you, or are you really looking for the wire? Yeah, well, he was traveling pretty comfortable still, but there were, the, uh, I know I heard a horse coming, and he sounded like he was coming pretty fast, but we got there just on time. You got the money indeed. Chris, anything else to add before we move on to Tim here? Thank Tim for giving me that opportunity. Uh, we're riding him. He's a nice horse. I hope to ride him again. Huh? Yeah, that was a nice horse. Thanks for coming over here and seeing us, Tim. And it's always nice to come home with the cash. What were your thoughts kind of coming into the race here with Ozark Daredevil? Well, I would have probably stayed at home with him, but I've got a couple of nice colts at home. Then after you win one at home, if you you know you, you sit around with a horse, and Winnipeg's kind of like a second home to me, and I was glad to come over, and I'm glad he got to the wire. Yeah, it ends up being a nice situation where you do get to win, you get to come home and see a few people you haven't seen in a long time. So now Ozark Daredevil, I know you have a few nice ones over there. The River's Edge team is kind of stocked over there. So what do you have any plans on the future, the futurity here, or is there stuff over there you're going to look at? Oh, we'll definitely think about uh, coming back here. If, um, I got, like I said, I got a couple colts pointed to what we got going on in Northlands, and there's one going to BC. So, I mean, Ozark looks like he likes it here. We'll come back here. Yeah, it looks like it was a uh, very nice fit here with Chris Husbands. Anything else to add other than the fact this is just another win on what has been a very nice last couple of weeks here for you, continuing off the Canadian Derby success? I'd just like to thank everyone associated with Cinnaboy Downs for the welcome back. And like I said, it was kind of like my second home. It's nice to come back. It was a nice win. Congratulations, Tim. River's Edge Racing, Christopher Husbands, the winners of the 52nd Osiris Stakes, Ozark Daredevil. Back up to you, Kurt. Thank you very much, Rob.